Hello guys, welcome to another video. My name is Jake, this is JP Tech. Today I'm going over the Samsung Galaxy S8 leaks and rumors. So let's get into the video. Before we actually get into the video, I want to make it clear that these are just rumors and will not 100% happen. So this phone will without a doubt be the best looking phone in the whole of 2017. Samsung always managed to bring out some amazing devices. The Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus logo has been leaked, which matches their design path of previous logos for their other devices. This confirms that there will be a Plus model of the Samsung Galaxy S8. I just want to make it clear that we will also be seeing a generic S8 with a smaller screen. As I'm sure you will have noticed, there is no mention of having an edged version of the phone. This is because both phones will have the edge display. There will be no option to have the flat display, which will disappoint a lot of people. The smaller S8 model will come with a 5.8 inch display, which I know isn't small, but Samsung knows phones are getting bigger and bigger. The S8 will also have a QHD display, so not 4K yet, but we may be seeing that in another Samsung panel later on next year, maybe in the S9 or whatever they call it. I'm really not sure. The Plus variant of the phone will have a 6.2 inch display, which isn't actually that much bigger than the smaller version, and will also have a QHD display, so it's basically 1440p or 2K. Recent rumors suggest that there will only be two storage options. These storage options will be 64 gigabytes and 128 gigabytes. This is obviously because people are needing more storage nowadays to keep all their music, photos, etc, etc. With the standard S8, you'll be getting 4GB of RAM and with the Plus model, you will be getting 6GB of RAM. 6GB really does sound crazy in a device. I know the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3 already have this, so I guess Samsung are trying to be up there and have one of the best devices of the year. If you do go for this smaller variant, four gigabytes of RAM is easily more than enough in a phone. Another rumor is that the display will have cornered edges like we have already seen it in another device called the Mi Mix. I will show some pictures on screen now of the Mi Mix and what the S8 is rumored to look like with these curves. A lot of phones these days have lenses which protrude from the actual device. Samsung this year are rumored to be having hardly any protrusion from the device with a 0.2 millimeter thickness from the device. This is a big improvement and Apple could learn a thing or two from Samsung. We can also confirm that we will be seeing another return of the iris scanner, which we previously saw in the S7, which basically blew up and then was recalled. There's more information in the video on the card you can see on screen now. You can go watch that if you missed all of that, which I doubt you missed that as it was all over the news. The iris scanner on this device will be an improved version of the one we previously saw on the, as there will be hardly any bezels on the display as you'll see on an image now, Samsung will be moving the fingerprint scanner from the front to the back as the iris scanner isn't 100% working, so you're gonna want another way to get into your device. This will be a big improvement as it will be where your finger usually holds the phone, so it will be easy to log into. This clearly rules out the option of having a fingerprint scanner built into the screen as the technology is not really there yet, so we may say it. so we may see it in the future. This device will also have the Snapdragon 835, which will make everything so much more faster than the previous device. The camera on the S8 will be a bit better than the S7's camera, but it won't be a huge improvement, so don't expect anything more crazy from it. It will probably have the same 12 megapixel sensor, but just other things in software changed. All leaked images in this video are from Everything Apple Pro, so go check them out. Links will be in the video description. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, give the video a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, dislike the video and tell me why down below in the comment section. My name has been Jake. This has been JP Tech. I'll see you in my next video.